Sikh kebab, originally known to be shish kebab, were introduced to India by traders from Turkey. In Turkish, the word shish actually means a sword or skewer, and the word kebab means to be roasting. Later kebabs were popularized by the Mughals. During battles, the Turkish soldiers would stay in the forest during the night time and hunt for meat. They would then skewer it on their swords and roast it on fire. As it seemed to be the only source of food they could find in the jungles, this became their primary food source that seemed to give them more strength during wars. But today, for those who would prefer to have healthy vegetarian or vegan version of Sikh kebabs, I'm going to be making it using fresh veggies with a little of healthy black rice flour that had come out so delicious with an excellent soft and succulent texture. So let's enjoy the Sikh kebabs for this bakreed. Welcome you all to the healthy sizzle with me, Sinduja Sriram. So for the wet Sikh kebab, we need a binding and texture for which we are going to make soya granules. Just take about a cup of soya or a meal maker and grind it coarse, close to about a grainy texture. Keep it aside. Then for binding, we would dry roast about 3 tablespoons of gram flour or basin until we get a nice aroma and it turns into a slight brown color. See to it that you do not burn the flour. Keep it aside. Now in a wide clay pot, I am adding a teaspoon of wood press groundnut oil to which I am adding in quarter teaspoon of cumin seeds, let it roast slightly to which I am adding in an inch of finely chopped ginger and a finely chopped green chilli, saute them. Now add in a cup of finely chopped french beans, saute them for a minute. Now to this add in a cup of finely chopped cabbage, half a cup of finely chopped green bell pepper or capsicum, one cup of grated carrot, about two carrots, saute them for about two minutes. Bell peppers would leave water to the mixture. See, see to it that you keep lesser quantity of bell pepper. Now to this add quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and quarter teaspoon of red chilli powder. Quarter teaspoon of roasted cumin powder. Quarter teaspoon of Punjabi garam masala powder. Quarter teaspoon of black pepper powder. One teaspoon of roasted coriander powder and mix them well. Now transfer them to a bowl and let it cool for some time. This step is very important. Once it is cooled, transfer the mixture to a mixer grinder and add in a teaspoon of salt. Grind it to a coarse mixture. It should not be like a paste, else it would become watery and you may need to add in more binding. We wouldn't be able to make kebabs with the right texture. Now to this, add in boiled potatoes. I have taken about 3 medium sized ones. Just mash them and then add. Now I have taken about 50 grams of tofu or soya paneer to which I have added 1 tablespoon of country sugar and blended them in the mixer and kept it. I like a slight sweetness to the kebab. You may skip this step if you don't like and proceed with tofu grated and added to the mixture. If you are not a vegan, you may add grated paneer or cheese or both. This would result in melt in the mouth patty, it's up to you. To this add in half of the ground soya granules and 3 fourth of the roasted gram flour and 2 tablespoons of black rice flour or kavani arisi flour in Tamil. This adds up to the nutritional benefits. To this add in about a tablespoon of chopped cashews, handful of chopped coriander leaves, handful of chopped mint leaves and squeeze in the juice of half a medium sized lemon. Mix them all well. The traditional colored rice varieties are known to be rich in dietary fiber, resistant starch, minerals, carotenoids, flavonoids and polyphenols. Phytochemicals and micronutrients from the traditional rice variety act as dietary supplements and contribute to a major role in reducing the cardiovascular disease, diabetes, cancer and stroke. Now add in little of the remaining soya and gram flour mixture whenever binding is required. It has to hold the shape of a kebab when put in the skewer. Now grease the skewers with a little of cold pressed groundnut oil. Here I have taken an ice cream stick instead of skewers. Take a generous amount of the mixture and roll it. Insert the skewer in the middle and make the shape of a kebab and it has to hold tightly. Flatten them slightly on two sides as we are going to be roasting it on a tawa. Flatten the top and the bottom and give it a nice shape of a Sikh kebab. See to it that it doesn't fall off 
and stick while roasting. Else, add in little roasted gram flour and soya granules to the mixture to achieve the right consistency and texture. Now, roll them on the soya granules. This replaces bread crumbs and would give a crispy texture outside. Loads of fresh vegetables besides the black rice flour used in this recipe supports to high antioxidants, multivitamins and fiber to the system. This would build the immune system and reduce the fat intake when combined and cooked with proper methods. For more information on black rice, I have linked the research paper about the same in the description box which tells its uses and health benefits. Have a look. This would make around 9 medium sized seek kebabs. On a hot iron tawa, brush in little wood press groundnut oil and place the kebabs in batches. Add about half a teaspoon of oil and cook them in medium to high flame and roast them for about a minute on each side till they get golden brown in color. Be gentle while turning them. Also, I have made apple cinnamon breakfast cookies using black rice which is a grab and go breakfast in my previous episodes. You can click on the card above or link in the description box for you to have a look. The kebabs have turned crispy, plate them on the serving platter. Now for the green chutney, grind a handful of mint leaves, a handful of coriander leaves, a green chilli, half an inch of ginger, a tablespoon of lime juice, half a teaspoon of salt and little water into a fine paste. Serve the vegetable seek kebabs with fresh green chutney by the side. Delicious, nutritious and guilt-free, vegan sea kebabs have turned out to be very soft even in the toothless mouth. So if you like these healthy version of recipes, do like and subscribe to my channel that which keeps me going. I would love to listen to your suggestions and opinions. Make sure you post the pictures and tag me on Instagram if you have tried any of my recipes and keep following. I'll be happy to see those beautiful creations. Catch you all in the next episode. Sindhuja Sriram from Healthy Sizzle signing off. Take care. Bye-bye.